Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I've got the brand new Failure Lake drops to share with you guys today. I believe this is like an ESPX Buzz SS. It's got the cool B on it with the trees. Curious to see how understable that guy is. This is one I'm very excited about. We've got the, I believe it's a Glow Swarm. One of my favorite overstable mid ranges from Discraft. Really good disc. Then we've got a nice Glow Flex comet it's got the little guy on the ground watching the comet go through the sky pretty cool glow flex jawbreaker zone so pretty cool discs for the failure lake drop that discraft has come out with this year we'll start with the putters when we'll work our way up to the mid ranges we'll start off with the zone here I'm not a huge zone guy but this is probably my favorite looking zone that i have ever owned Classic zone flight. I feel like basically every zone flies the same, unless you have like a super beat in zone. <laughs> Buzz Assess, one of Discraft's most popular mid ranges. Ooh. It's a nice flip up guy. Had a nice little fade at the end, though. It kind of flipped up right away, then still had a nice fade at the end. Now we've got the Comet here. Flying a bit more stable than the Buzz SS. And then this honestly is probably the one I'm most excited about. I do really like the Swarm. One of my favorite overstable mid ranges. Historically, the Swarms have just been ridiculously overstable. And if you want to get a discount on all the Failure Lake discs or any other discs, click the link in the description below. Go to my store with Disc Golf Deals USA. And that is where you're going to be able to save the most money on these drops or any other drops in the future. And although the Swarm is a mid-range, it did actually go a little less far than the zone. And that just speaks to how stable the Swarm actually is. And I feel like it's been a while since I've actually come out here and filmed. Um, a lot of new people moved in to the apartments that I live at that actually play golf. Over the last like year and a half, I could pretty much just come out here and there would always be nobody out here. Not a soul ever, just like how it is today. Um, but nowadays it seems like almost always somebody's out here playing golf. So I haven't been able to film out here as often as I like to. So I know you guys just kind of like the open field setting for a lot of these reviews. Um, we'll throw all these in the same order and then we'll do a forehand down and a forehand back. So we can really test out that stability of some of the more stable molds. But this zone, is really really cool looking honestly i feel like this is going to be one of those zones if you're a disc flipper you could buy these and sit on them for a year and do pretty well on them this is a very cool run of zone <sighs> just a classic zone flight definitely more stable than my titanium zone my titanium zone is a lot straighter really going to rip on this buzz assess here Uh-oh. That was more user error. I kind of yanked over on it. Luckily, we landed on the bridge. Do have a little headwind here, but it's nothing that the swarm cannot handle. The swarm, it's like quite a bit more overstable than a Buzz, uh, Buzz OS. Definitely a step up in stability from Buzz OS. Now we have the Comet here. This... I don't love the way the Comet feels, but the flight on that first shot was actually really nice. <sighs> the Comet is actually pretty solid. I've not ever thrown a run of Comet that I feel like works well for me, but that just kind of flew like kind of like a brand new Star Rock. Pretty nice flying disc so far. So far, all these discs are flying really nice. I always am switching out my overstable mid that I have in my bag. And the Swarm is one of those discs that comes in and out. And every time I throw the Swarm, I also have an ESP one. I really enjoy the flight, the feel. They're board flat, super overstable, super, super torque resistant. And it reminds me of my first flight Quake that I threw for like five years that I eventually lost. The Swarm is probably the first disc that I feel like has the same feel and the same, same torque resistance and stability 
to my first flight quakes. Because even new quakes aren't nearly as stable as the old first round quakes. All right, let's take it to the other side of the game here. Let's give them some forehands. Like, this is probably one of the best feeling zones that, again, that I've ever felt. I really like it's a little flexible. And then obviously this jawbreaker and a premium blend, it looks sweet. Um, but most jawbreaker plastic is not durable at all. It beats in way too fast. But this is like a premium jawbreaker, and it has that nice kind of soft feel in the hand. Really, really nice zone, actually. Oh, it's important that it's stable. And that's actually quite a stable zone. My titanium zone would fly nothing like that. It would fly a ton straighter. Let's see how the swarm flies. <sighs> If I'm going to bag a swarm, I want a swarm that I can throw on Anheuser just like that. That's the exact shot that I would bag a swarm for. Um, when it does go into my bag, I love how I can really trust it on those Anheuser flick lines. And then we got Buzz SS. Nice little flyer. Honestly, it kind of feels like it's like an ESP baseline buzz assess i thought it'd be flippier i'm sure it'll beat in quickly and become more flippy over time but i am surprised by how stable that disc is and the comet is one of the grossest feeling discs on the planet for forehand but we're gonna do it anyway oh it feels so bad but it flies so good what the heck all right let's forehand these back we're gonna come back into a pretty stiff headwind so it's gonna be a real true test of their overstability the noise canceling on my mics is fire. So when it's windy, you guys can probably almost never tell unless you're really observant and looking at the trees. But as you can see by the flag, it is actually a little bit gusty out here today. And we're throwing into a couple degrees of headwind slash right to left, which again is really good time to see how reliable is the zone, is the swarm, is the comet. Um, I don't think this Buzz SS is something I would ever choose to throw into a headwind. It would just have too much propensity to kind of flip and turn. But I'm really curious to see how these guys fly on the forehand line into a head right to left. This zone, absolute fire. I'm actually really happy with this new run of zone. I almost always don't love the zone, but this has got to be my favorite zone. It just looks so cool. It has that little bit softer feel, and it's absolutely board flat. And it seems to be super stable. That's beef into a headwind. Thankfully, nobody was walking. It could have just absolutely decimated somebody. We got the swarm here. I'm going to trust on a lot more Anheuser. Really show off the stability. Again, one of my favorite overstable molds from Discraft. Oh. A lot of Anheuser. Again, lucky there's no walkers. Watch your head, folks. Then we got Buzz SS. Should be able to Heiser flip this almost no problem. <laughs> a little late flipper. That was a cool little line. And then we've got the Comet. It's got a very similar profile to a rock, but very different bottom. But overall, I feel like as far as in-production discs go, this is probably the closest thing that Discraft has to a rock. The MRV used to be closer, but that's now discontinued. So if you're an MRV enjoyer out there, comment below. There's not very many of us out there. Oh. Definitely off-axis torque the crap out of that one. Feels so bad for me on forehands. But anyway, guys. Let me know, will you be checking out any of the new Failure Lake drops? There's a lot of fun drops that come out around this time of year, all the way through to the holidays, to the end of the year. And then the beginning of the year, they start off very strong as well. So make sure you're getting your discs over at discgolfdealsusa.com slash iceberg TV. The link to that is in the description below. If you follow that link, you'll get a discount on everything over at the website, except for MVP, Axiom, and Streamline, which we're working on that. We're trying to figure a way to discount those at the moment as well. Um, so make sure you stay on top of my site. That's where you're going to get the best prices, the most updated stock. They got a ton of discs on there. I'm sure you guys are going to find something you like. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to all you guys who follow my channel. I really appreciate all of you. Stay humble. Live with gratitude. See you guys in the next video. And take care.